Oh, look who it is. Hey, bestie. Oh, that's such a cute thing to say. Oh, oh, you like a pile of leaves. Oh, we'll get you your pile of leaves, bestie. You can trust me on that one. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good for, it's definitely that. <coughs> hey, besties. It's Newt back again with another normal Animal Crossing speed build, but uh, I'm doing Bo's house today. Isn't that exciting? My best friend Bo, he's finally getting a little house makeover. If you missed my last maybe speed build on my island, my last speed build on my island, uh, I finished doing the lake area around Bo's house. It's very cute, very stunning. Uh, but today we're doing a little, another little uh, sneaky Ghibli inspired build. Uh, I know how much you all love those. A <laughs> Melba build absolutely ate the algorithm up, besties. Okay, uh, look at how cute he is. Bo and I are best friends now, for those of you who don't know. If you've been following our beef, uh, we've been best friends for a minute, ever since he hosted my birthday party. Uh, but yeah, today we're giving him a house inspired by Ursula's cabin from Kiki's Delivery Service and their Kiki's Delivery Service build because I'm addicted to that apparently. Uh, we didn't actually edit that much of his exterior because uh, it's already perfect, you know, I have no notes. I think I changed the door and that was it. Like, stunning, it's gorgeous. Anyways, uh, that was the inspiration. I'll throw up a couple of pictures here. I, it was a very loose inspiration. It was more of a Melba build and less of a Kiki build, if you if you get what I'm saying. Uh, also, his original house, honestly, kind of a serve. Like, a lot of those original villager houses were a little bit crusty, um, but this one's kind of cute. I love the meadow uh, theme we have going on, and we did keep the radio, and that was it. <laughs> No fun to bow. Um, I thought about using the metal wallpaper, but I ended up using a different wallpaper to do like a like a window detail. It was this this beautiful, stunning, gorgeous forest wallpaper. But yeah, I I didn't do like a direct inspiration, but I really liked the vibes of Ursula's cabin. You know, so we have some of some of the objects. We have the lantern. We have the little bottles. We have her table where she keeps her art supplies. We have the sloppy bed, obviously. Uh, you know, just little knickknacks here and there that are sort of loose references to Ursula's cabin. This is the centerpiece of the room, and honestly, it's stunning and gorgeous, and you wish you lived in this house. Like, no offense, but, like, I want to live here. I want to move in with my bestie. Actually, I take that back. I love Bo a lot, but there is... Uh, a roach in this house. I thought that that was appropriate for him as uh, he talks about the bugs on the floor all the time. So, you know, why not make it official? Speaking of making things official, while we're working on his little kitchen over here in the corner, let's talk about the drama, okay? There's been, mm, how do I put this? There's been an incident. The other night, I was innocently visiting Coco's house, you know, to hang out and take some pictures. It's a very cute house. I did a speed build of it, link in the card or whatever. Anyways, I was visiting Coco's house, and when I walked in, besties, let me tell you, my jaw dropped. You would never guess who was in there with her. <laughs> like, hello? what? I felt like I was in the twilight zone. And then she was talking about how like her favorite neighbor had come to visit and how she was scared of looking like she was too desperate. And then I talked to Marshall and he was like, oh my God. And he was like complimenting her decor. And then he said this thing about like, who's the number one draft pick. And I'm like, okay, first of all, you learned that from Genji. That's, that's shady. That's shady right there. So don't ask me what's happening. I guess they, they have a truce going on. I know that they they had like made up in terms of like there's they're not fighting anymore but friends friendship I, okay i am pleased about this development it's good to know that they're friends uh as opposed to enemies that's always for the best it's just weird and i was not prepared for it for those of you who don't know uh, on my island marshall and coco have bad blood they're both kind of mean, to be honest. Uh, they also were fighting over the same boy for a long time, and that really put a wedge between them. But, you know, Fuchsia and Coco have been going steady for a minute, and I guess so have Marshall and Genji, because Marshall is using sports terminology all of a sudden in casual conversation. So, you know, maybe things are on the up and up. Coco has stopped bullying Bo as much. Speaking of Bo, let's talk about the build again for a second. For those of you who aren't interested in my in my island drama, I promise that's, that's it. That's all that's happened. Um, we'll get back to talking about the build. I kind of did the entire right side of the cabin while I was telling that story. Um, but, you know, it's just simple. Uh, I wanted to have the sloppy sink, obviously, because we're sticking with the art theme. Now, I was kind of troubled about this. 
of whether or not to make Bo into an artist because Bo is kind of dumb. Not that artists are smart. Um, I know a lot of artists, I have a lot of artist friends and uh, like myself, they are also dumb. Uh, but Bo is like particularly dumb. So uh, I was really struggling with whether or not that would really be his profession. I was also thinking maybe Pecan could be an artist. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stick with it. You know, maybe he's some sort of prodigy and uh, he's an incredible painter, but he's got bugs in the floor and he doesn't know how to read. And I think that that really suits his personality. And I would know because he's my best friend and I love him. Uh, but yeah, this corner, as you can see with the thumbnail, uh, she kind of ate. Uh, I obviously, this is one of the more heavily uh, referential areas of the house. We also have in the top uh, right, we have the wood burning stove, which is also a feature of Ursula's cabin. Uh, I did go on HBO and, and open the movie and, and take reference pictures of, of what the cabin looked like just to see like the clutter and the objects. She also has a really similar hanging shelf where she keeps her pots and pans, which I thought was really cute. I ended up going with the vintage couch as opposed to the sloppy couch, which, is, which was my initial sort of thing I was drawn to, obviously, because of he's, he's a lazy villager. But, you know, I wanted to get out of my comfort zone a little bit, and the dark green of the vintage couch in that in this house, absolutely stunning and gorgeous, as you can see by how great it looks. I also went out of my comfort zone with the colors in this house, Bestie, because unlike my previous two builds, which were blue, green, and yellow, I decided for this build to do a focus on blue and green, especially darker blues and greens, but with little pops of red, like the little primary color moment. And it sort of, it mirrors Bob's house, obviously, but you know, it just like suits a lazy villager, I think. Uh, once again, obviously, we focused way in on the green with a little bit of blue and then a very tiny hint of red with like the red, uh, the clock and the red in the fruit basket or the veggie basket. Uh, but you know, just those little, those little pops. Oh, and the books, the book, the pile of books as well. That was also a reference to Ursula's cabin. Oh, and we have the pile of leaves down already. That's perfect. I love that for us. While we're focused on that area by the door, let's talk about the door for a minute because I didn't actually talk about it when I built it. Uh, I was busy talking about something else as I always am. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a technique that I did in Marshall's house, in Kiki's house. I have plans to do it in my own house. I did not invent this concept at all. Uh, Colin Crossing, I don't know if he invented it, but he was definitely early on the ground in making, using the glow in the dark sticker object to make windows. And essentially it's just a wall object. You can unlock it in Happy Home Paradise and it's a recipe that you have to learn to use it in your own house. Ooh, quick side note, I was checking over there to make sure that I could scoot behind the bag of chips so that I could sit on the couch with Bo if he decided he wanted to sit on the couch so we could like sit together. I thought that was a cute detail. That and the TV tray actually having a TV dinner on it I think is very adorable. Anyways, the glow in the dark stickers. So essentially what you do is you combine a custom design uh, as, I, as you can see here. The custom design that I used, unfortunately the creator deleted, but I will try to have their uh, their their creator code in the description so that you can look at their other designs. They have a lot of similar designs on their page. Uh, but yeah, you take a custom design, it can be a window pane, it can be a door, it can be whatever you want, and then you apply it to the glow in the dark sticker. And then you place it on top of one of the Sahara wallpapers that looks like the outdoors. You ever wonder like, what do I do with those? This is a great way to incorporate them into a build. And as you can see, I've also used the partition walls to sort of separate it and make it look uh, less big. In the, in the Kiki build that I did last week, I think, or maybe like a week and a half ago, I did an entire wall that was just a window, which was really fun. Uh, but in this one, I wanted it to be a little more cozy and closed off. So I just wanted it to be like a door that you open and you step out into the forest. And I think it looks so cool. But yeah, it occurred to me that I've used that trick in several builds and I don't remember ever actually explaining like what it was or how to do it. So for, if you for some reason haven't seen a tutorial about it already from another YouTuber, there you go. That's how you do it. It's really simple. There's a million custom designs. If you search uh, glow in the dark sticker custom design or window custom design, you're sure to find it. It's super easy. Like I said, I'll try to have that creator code linked in the description. At this point, I'm like notoriously bad at remembering my codes or like remembering to keep track of my codes. So I'm, I'm trying my best here, besties. I am not uh, good at uh, organizing. Not at all. As you can tell by my build style, I'm a very messy person. Oh, I also figured out that it looks a little bit goofy, but I, I always struggle with decorating these um, partition walls just because you can't actually put objects on them, but you can put objects behind them. And I figured out that that, uh, 
that mobile clips through slightly and you can like still see it. So I put it back there and I thought it looks pretty cute. Same with that dinosaur decoration. Also that clock. I like that clock a lot, but he already had the cuckoo clock in his house. And I thought it'd be weird if he had multiple clocks. Though I guess Bo is kind of stupid. So he might need multiple ways of telling time. Uh, that being said though, I did get rid of it eventually. And rip, rip clock, you were, you were fun while you lasted, but we replaced it with the trusty fan, the wall fan, obviously. There's a lot of classic me objects in this build. We have the sloppy bed, obviously, and the sloppy sink. We have the spider web, obviously, the bag of chips, socks on the ground, very iconic. We also have over on the wall by the TV, the hanging plant, and a copy of KK Swing, which is a very iconic song that I often use in my build. So, you know, we have all of the trademark newt items in this build, along with the uh, previously mentioned pile of leaves. Oh, and the Argyle rug, she's back. We haven't seen her in a minute, but yeah, she's back. But we also have some new items that I haven't really used before, like the scrapbook. I've been waiting to use that. That item is so adorable. And also these birds. I never use these, but like I should because they look great. And also they, um, I have like a personal connection to like, uh, these like wooden birds like this, but I'm not I'm gonna go into this video But but I I was really pleased to be able to use them in this house and I really love the colors I think they look really really cool. Honestly, this build is really basic at its core Like it's just a basic house with a kitchen a living room a bedroom a little office But it's like the clutter and like the colors the pops of colors that really makes it and that was the most fun part about this Like I had the basic layout done in the room sketch app as I always do besties That's the one thing I can recommend to you most is use the room sketch app to your advantage Oh, yeah, and I put this little shelf there and it like clips through but like you can still see the thing on the on the on the thing that doesn't make any sense What a horrible explanation, but you you see it you see how it looks besties anyways as I was saying I planned out the bones of this build in the room sketch app and then when I actually jumped into the build itself with Tom Nook standing in the door watching me, I had the bones of it ready to go in my mind and also in photo form and I just, I had so much more room to experiment and like time to like adjust little colors here and there and I had all of the Ursula items that I wanted, like the reference items and it was just like, it was so fun. I, I, part of me is like, is this really out of my comfort zone? I don't think it is. I think this is a very classic me build and I want to do more builds that are like more out there for me. Once again, one of the reasons I love doing Happy Home Paradise so much. Uh, but I, I, you know, it's, especially with my island theme being the way that it is, like a reference to my own childhood and my hometown, essentially, I, I can't not do a little log cabin. Like, come on, besties, come on. Oh yeah, I changed the color of this lantern. I think that rich teal color just looks so, so nice. And I wanted to have this Arfoid one because I think it's cute that that would be like a gift from Coco to Bo because she, she's a, she's a ceramicist and ceramicist? Ceramist? Is that the correct word? I don't know. She makes gyroids and that is where Bo got it from. Uh, I also put the boots on the wall and then put them next to the coat rack on the floor so I had extra room in the build to place other objects but I could still keep the boots besties my mind my genius mind and I did put the roach in the kitchen um I did feel that was appropriate unfortunately for Bo it's all about honesty besties you know like like we're, this build is all about being honest and then I think uh like I said uh a lot of this build was just like me experimenting and having fun and uh, testing out different item combinations, especially on the walls. The walls are really cluttered in this build, but I had so much fun going through the catalog and like looking for new things. And I, I just thought like halfway through, like, hey, I should throw a little uh, vintage phone up on top of the TV. And I just think it's so cute. Like the, the light green color is adorable. And that dinosaur sign in the kitchen, I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again because I love it. And like, it was like, I was like stepping my foot halfway out the door kind of when it comes to my comfort zone. And it was just so fun. I, I, I enjoyed it so much. And I think honestly, the rest of this build, oh yeah, I put in the, the lamps. Yes, I wanted to have some ceiling lighting. And then I made the actual room lighting really low. So it was sort of like, it gave off. That was the biggest reference to Ursula's cabin. I think it gave off like this, this truly rural feel. Like he's in the middle of the woods and he does not have electricity like that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that 
the the rest of this build is just me sort of adjusting colors adjusting object placement uh and i wanted to leave it in one because i'm obsessed with this build i could look at it forever uh two i wanted to show you guys a little bit of my process how i think about things when i'm building uh to give you guys an idea of of how long it takes me to figure stuff out uh and also you know pad out the videos time a little bit you know get that watch time in besties but also because i like hanging out and talking i love talking <laughs> If you hadn't already figured that out already by uh, minute 15 of this video. Uh, oh yeah, I was experimenting with which color to use for this. I ended up going with white because it matches the white in the blanket on the bed, my mind. Ooh, speaking of how much I love talking, um, I got to stream City Folk this weekend. And you know, we had our technical difficulties besties with the Wii Remote, but Despite that, I had the absolute best time with y'all. That was just an absolute blast. And the villager lineup in, in our town, in City Folk. Oh, look at our, our villagers. We have Mail, we have Antonio, we have Daisy. Oh, I love Daisy. We have Chester and Peanut. And Bunt. <gasps> my dad is here. My dad. Shout out to my dad. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. So if you're watching this today that it comes out, I'm streaming City Folk again uh, tomorrow on Thursday. Be on the lookout for that, besties. Keep notifications on. Also check out Discord, link in the description. If you're 16 or over, you can come hang out. I make a post on Discord every time that I go live. That's why I mentioned it, if, in case notifications aren't working for you. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play more of that this week. I also want to play a little Kirby on the channel at some point, probably this weekend. So be on the lookout for that too, besties. Uh, game of the year incoming, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Just saying, besties, if you know, you know. So, you know, get into it. Uh, but yeah, I was, uh, here I am adjusting the lighting, like I said earlier. Uh, I wanted to add a sconce to the kitchen just to make it more, uh, <laughs> more realistic you can actually see in your kitchen especially when I turn the lights down like really really low you could not see in the kitchen at all I was like okay I need to do something to fix this so we have our trusty dusty little sconce over there and then I did something I don't normally do I used the the candle see that is me pushing myself out of my comfort zone besties last time I used that was in the Hannibal build which was literally a, a year and a half ago so look at me experimenting but yeah I used the candle above the bed mostly because the sconce was like too far out from the wall and it like distracted from the hat that's also an Ursula reference. Obviously, the hat is a pretty obvious reference, I guess. But yeah, I just felt like it made sense. Like, you know, you have the little candle above the bed and you light it and you like read your little book. Not that Bo knows how to read as we've discussed, but you know, neither does Kirby. And Kirby is really powerful and he's the hero of Planet Popstar and he's a great friend. And Bo's a great friend too. So I think, I think it all works out. Something interesting that I changed from the original version uh, was the the window area. I had a light fixture there. It had that like bar with the spotlights and it looked really good. Um, but I also had that shelf in another area. I had it in the kitchen actually uh, filling out that space a little bit, but I decided to remove that in the actual build and put the shelf by the windows. And I think it just looks really good. Like I, I this, this build is just so like warm and cozy. Like this is a cozy vibe besties. I do a lot of builds that are like, you know, they're cozy adjacent, but they're not this cozy. Uh, and I'm really, really pleased with how this came out. I think it just looks so good. Like I just, the details were just so fun. I love doing details like this and I love how small the kitchen is. Normally uh, when I do a build like this, like, ooh, ooh, screw whatever I was saying about the kitchen. You have to steam the hot things, besties, okay? Not the not the plate. The plate was fine as it was, but the 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 wood burning stove, absolutely. I mean applied the little the little crackly static to the TV. Don't forget to use the polishes in your builds, besties. And also the the Harv's Island Reds raffle items. Don't forget those either. We didn't actually put many of those in this build. That's like that's like one of my few gripes, I guess, about it. But you know, I did try to fit the comic in the original build because I feel like that's something that Bo would read, but it just didn't make it. I'm sorry, besties. I, I needed this place to be traversable. That's one thing that I haven't mentioned yet. Because this is his actual house in game, like on my island, it's gotta be traversable, besties. I don't want Bo getting stuck. I wanna be able to hang out with him. I want him to have friends over, uh, especially me because I'm his best friend, as we all know. That's part of why I'm so pleased that I got the small kitchen to work because I think it looks great and it conveys kitchen without taking up the entire house. Uh, but yeah, you know, we may not have the Harv's Island items, but we got to steam the hot things and that's what's most important in life, besties. 
Oh, and we're coming up on the end. Thank you so much, Tom Nook, for letting me fix this man's house. I loved his meadow concept, but I think we really took it to the next level today. And here we are at the outro. Thank you all so, so much for watching. This is the final build. I am super pleased with how it came out. It's so cute. I love it. Shout outs to my best friend, Bo, and shout outs to you for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, I post videos here twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I also go live over here on YouTube, including tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time playing City Folk. Uh, if you want to be notified every time that I go live, make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell and set it to all notifications. Other great ways to get notifications are to follow me on Instagram and check out Discord, both linked in the description. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all again on Saturday. Bye!